Welcome to the Life Coaching Podcast. This episode is inspired by a question that was sent in. What parts about your personality should you change and what shouldn't you? As you get older, you're expected to be mature, but there's something nice about never losing your childlike curiosity. Very interesting question. So let me first take you back to your childhood, right? As children, we are spontaneous. We are curious, joyful, passionate little creatures. Life is an adventure. We literally play full out. We trip, we fall, but we get back up. That is how we come into this world. That is our essence and it still is today. Let me reassure you, that childlike spirit has never left. It is still inside of you. I'm going to quote Neil Donald Walsh, who's the author of a series of books called Conversations with God, where he literally has a conversation with God. And in his book, he asks God, why are we here? And God answers, to remember and recreate who you are. So we come into this world and what happens is, as we grow older, we hear certain things about how we're supposed to behave or how we're supposed to be as a person, what our lives are supposed to look like, what we're supposed to feel. So we adjust. And in adjusting, we start denying parts of our true selves, parts of our essence, in order to be loved, in order to be accepted in order to fit in. We grow up being taught that you need to behave, that you need to be good, that you need to be successful, that you need to be this or that. All these things take you away from who you truly are at the core. The pressure of expectations is what distances us from who we are and what we truly want for ourselves. As children, we are programmed to believe that there is a right and a wrong way of doing things, that there is a right and a wrong way of being, that there is only one way to be happy and successful in life. These are all belief systems. So the question you want to ask yourself is, if there were no expectations, who would you be? What would you do? What is your definition of success? The thing is, we come into this world with our own unique flavor. We are all different at birth. What if that difference is what's going to change the world? What if being different actually means being you, being your authentic self? Now, maybe there was a time when you acted different or you liked something that others might have disapproved of. Maybe you acted a certain way and people reacted in a negative way. So we get hurt, we get disappointed, we start feeling wrong. And based on that experience, we adjust our behavior in order to quote unquote survive, basically in order to be accepted. And this is how we end up losing sight of who we truly are and what actually matters to us. If we keep repeating this behavioral pattern our entire lives, we really lose sight of who we are and what we want for ourselves. Now, let's say you've been living according to expectations your entire life and you're at a point where you realize it and you want to start choosing what feels right to you. Let me tell you, you're at a really exciting place and let me give you a tool that you can use. So instead of organizing your life around what is the right thing to do or what would make me get accepted by others, change that into what feels right to me. Even if that means that others might not agree or they might think you're crazy, you need to be bold enough to choose what matters to you and it doesn't need to make sense for others. As we live in a society where there are so many expectations, if you all of a sudden are going to do something different, are going to be different, people are going to react. So brace yourself. It's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning. But that's just because you're creating a new habit. You're creating the habit of choosing yourself instead of living up to expectations. Now, you need to embrace the fact that what feels right for you is not necessarily going to feel right for others. And they don't need to understand simply because we're all different and we're supposed to be different. What is going to bring you the most joy and happiness in this life is being your authentic self unapologetically. 
and that is going to be different for you than what brings joy and happiness to somebody else. Once you step into that inner power, you become unstoppable and you represent possibility for others to do the same. Embrace their own uniqueness, their own weirdness. So the challenge lies in developing that self-belief, having the courage to stand in your own truth that you get to create for yourself. Trust me, with time, you will attract the people that belong to you, meaning people who love seeing you embrace your uniqueness simply because they do the same. So let me summarize and then tell you how you can do the work in order to speed up the process. So we come into this world as children and as we grow older, we start distancing ourselves more and more from who we truly are based on expectations and society and what we hear on television, what we hear people or friends or family say. At a certain point, we get so disconnected from ourselves that we feel lost. Now, how do you get back to your essence? Well, the work that you want to do is start paying attention to what makes you, you. What makes you laugh? What makes you happy? What matters to you? Not anyone else, you. And find out why. Find out your why. Consciously doing these small exercises over time will bring you closer to your authentic self. It's like a discovery process. Just like I quoted in the beginning, why are we here? To remember who we are and to recreate who we are. So it's a matter of unlearning that what we've been conditioned to believe and getting closer to what feels right for you. An interesting mantra to live by that will bring you closer to owning your difference and stepping into your own power is... If something feels right for you, even if later you find out that it was wrong, it still is the right choice for you. If it feels right for you, you don't need to justify it. Basically, if it's your choice, if it's your decision, if it's your way of living life, it's right. So I would really encourage you to own your way of living life and that's going to be unique. Have fun, create your life, be different, be bold, be authentic, make up your own rules. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you in the next one.